Cambridge English Movers One, published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge English Language Assessment, 2017. This recording is copyright. CD One. Test One. Hello. This is the Cambridge English Movers Listening Test. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen, and look. There is one example. What a lot of people! Yes, they all live in my road. Wow! Can you see the man with the long brown beard? The man who's wearing the white shirt. Yes. His name's David. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that man? He's laughing a lot. His name's Peter. He's always laughing. That's nice. Yes, he's very funny. Two. Who's the man with the black moustache? That's Jim. <laughs> Look at all those cakes on his plate. Yes, he's always hungry. Three. What's that woman doing? I think she is making soup. She wants to put those vegetables in it. That's Daisy. Is she good at cooking? Yes, she is. Four. The woman with the curly grey hair is really nice. Do you mean the one in the white sweater? Yes. What's her name? It's Jane. Five. That person lives opposite us. The woman who's carrying all the bowls. Yes, she's putting the bowls on the table. She's called Sally. Oh, how about going and talking to her? Yes, let's do that now. Now listen to part one again. One. Who's that man? He's laughing a lot. His name's Peter. He's always laughing. That's nice. Yes, he's very funny. Two. Who's the man with the black moustache? That's Jim. Look at all those cakes on his plate. Yes, he's always hungry. Three. What's that woman doing? I think she is making soup. She wants to put those vegetables in it. That's Daisy. Is she good at cooking? Yes, she is. Four. The woman with the curly grey hair is really nice. Do you mean the one in the white sweater? Yes. What's her name? It's Jane. Five. That person lives opposite us. The woman who's carrying all the bowls. Yes. She's putting the bowls on the table. 
She's called Sally. Oh, how about going and talking to her? Yes, let's do that now. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello. I work at the sports center. Can I ask you some questions? Okay. Right. The first question is, how old are you? I'm 11. 11? Yes. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Which sport do you like doing best at the sports center? I like swimming best. Are you good at it? I'm okay. I started swimming when I was five. That's great. Two. Do you live near the sports center? Yes, in River Street. Is that next to the river? Yes, that's right. I often go for a walk there. Three. How do you come to the sports center? By bike? No. I come by bus. It's very quick. Yes. And the bus is better when it's raining, too. Yes, it is. Four. When do you come to the sports center? I come after school. Only after school? Yes, that's right. Five. Do you sometimes buy things in the cafe? I don't buy food but I often buy some water when I'm thirsty. Well, water's very good for you. Yes. So, that's all. Thank you for answering my questions. That's okay. Now listen to part two again. One. Which sport do you like doing best at the sports center? I like swimming best. Are you good at it? I'm okay. I started swimming when I was five. That's great. Two. Do you live near the sports center? Yes, in River Street. Is that next to the river? Yes, that's right. I often go for a walk there. Three. How do you come to the sports center? By bike? No. I come by bus. It's very quick. Yes. And the bus is better when it's raining, too. Yes, it is. Four. When do you come to the sports center? I come after school. Only after school? Yes, that's right.
Five. Do you sometimes buy things in the cafe? I don't buy food, but I often buy some water when I'm thirsty. Well, water's very good for you. Yes. So that's all. Thank you for answering my questions. That's okay. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Sally is telling her teacher, Mr. Castle, about the people in her family and their jobs. What work? Do these people do? Hello, Mr. Castle. Do you like your work? Hello, Sally. Yes, I do. I love it. My dad loves his work too. He helps people because he's a dentist. Okay, that's great, Sally. I must go and see him. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen, and write a letter in each box. One. Does your mum work? Yes, she does. She works at the new school. Oh, is she a teacher there? Well, she doesn't work in the classroom, but she makes lunch for two hundred children every day because she's a cook there. She has to start at seven o'clock every morning. Wow. Two. My grandpa lives in the city, and he works too. Does he? I didn't know that. Yes, he can work because he isn't very old. I think he's fifty-five. He travels to lots of different places. Because he's a train driver, he thinks his work's brilliant. That's great. Three. And I think your sister's too young to work. She's only seventeen, but she does work. She's getting really famous now because she's often on TV. Wow! Is she a film star? That's right. She is. I love watching her. Fantastic. Yes, but she has to practice a lot at home. Four. What does your aunt do? My aunt. Her name's Julia, and she works at the hospital. She helps people who are ill. That's brilliant. Is she a doctor? Yes. Everyone loves her because she's very good at her work. Five. My uncle works too, but he doesn't work inside. Oh, where does he work then? He works outside, and he loves singing when he's working. He's always doing that. What does he do? He's got a huge farm and lots of animals to feed and look after. I love going there. That's nice. Now listen to part three again. One. Does your mum work? Yes, she does. She works at the new school. Oh, is she a teacher there? Well, she doesn't work in the classroom, but she makes lunch for two hundred children every day because she's a cook there. She has to start at seven o'clock every morning. Wow. Two. My grandpa lives in the city, and he works too. Does he? 
I didn't know that. Yes, he can work because he isn't very old. I think he's fifty-five. He travels to lots of different places because he's a train driver. He thinks his work's brilliant. That's great. Three. And I think your sister's too young to work. She's only seventeen, but she does work. She's getting really famous now because she's often on TV. Wow, is she a film star? That's right, she is. I love watching her. Fantastic. Yes, but she has to practice a lot at home. Four. What does your aunt do? My aunt, her name's Julia, and she works at the hospital. She helps people who are ill. That's brilliant. Is she a doctor? Yes. Everyone loves her because she's very good at her work. Five. My uncle works too, but he doesn't work inside. Oh, where does he work then? He works outside, and he loves singing when he's working. He's always doing that. What does he do? He's got a huge farm and lots of animals to feed and look after. I love going there. That's nice. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the pictures. Listen. And look, there is one example. Where is Charlie's house? Do you live in the city, Charlie? I live in a small village. Oh, that's nice. Yes, but I'd like to live near the sea. Can you see the tick? Now you listen, and tick the box. One. What did Anna do yesterday? Did you go to the movies yesterday, Anna? I didn't want to see any of the films. I went shopping with my friends. Did you go to a cafe with them for lunch? No, but we were very hungry when we got home, and Mum made us some pasta. Two. What job does Tom's sister have? Does your sister work for the hospital, Tom? Yes, and my dad does too. He's a nurse there. Is your sister a doctor? No, she's a driver. She takes people to the hospital. Three. What did Alex do on holiday? Did you go fishing with your dad on holiday, Alex? No, that's boring. I had sailing lessons. Did your brother do that? Too. No, he played tennis every day. Four. How did Jill help her mum and dad? We moved to a new house last week. It was a lot of work. Did you have to carry lots of boxes, Jill? Dad did that, and Mom paid to the kitchen. I washed all the cupboards. Good. Five. Which toy did Jack buy for his sister? What did you buy for your baby sister, Jack? I saw a nice toy panda, but she's got lots of animals. And she's too small for dolls. Yes. So I got her this clown. When you pick it up, it laughs. 
Now listen to part four again. One. What did Anna do yesterday? Did you go to the movies yesterday, Anna? I didn't want to see any of the films. I went shopping with my friends. Did you go to a cafe with them for lunch? No, but we were very hungry when we got home, and Mum made us some pasta. Two. What job does Tom's sister have? Does your sister work for the hospital, Tom? Yes, and my dad does too. He's a nurse there. Is your sister a doctor? No, she's a driver. She takes people to the hospital. Three. What did Alex do on holiday? Did you go fishing with your dad on holiday, Alex? No, that's boring. I had sailing lessons. Did your brother do that too? No, he played tennis every day. Four. How did Jill help her mum and dad? We moved to a new house last week. It was a lot of work. Did you have to carry lots of boxes, Jill? Dad did that, and Mom paid to the kitchen. I washed all the cupboards. Good. Five. Which toy did Jack buy for his sister? What did you buy for your baby sister, Jack? I saw a nice toy panda, but she's got lots of animals. And she's too small for dolls. Yes, so I got her this clown. When you pick it up, it laughs. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen, and look. There is one example. Those children look cold in the playground. Yes, it's not a very nice day today. Would you like to color some things in the picture? Okay. What about that bird? Can I color that? Oh yes, it's eating something on the ground. Can I color it green? Yes, I like that color for the bird. Can you see the green bird? This is an example. Now you listen, and color, and write. One. What shall I color now? The teacher's drinking a cup of tea. Shall I color the cup that he's holding? Yes. Color it orange, please. Okay. I'm doing that now. Two. The children who are sitting down are wearing scarves. Can you see the longer scarf? Yes. Shall I color it? Okay. Color it blue, please. That's a nice color. Three. There aren't many leaves on the tree. No, that girl is trying to catch one. Oh yes. Shall I color that leaf yellow? That's a good idea. Four. 
Now, I'd like you to write something. Okay, then. Write the word stone above the door of the small house. That's easy. I can spell stone. Brilliant. Five. That boy's playing with the ball. Yes, he's kicking it now. What color shall I do the ball? Hmm, color it brown. Okay. Good. This picture looks better now. Now listen to part five again. One. What shall I color now? The teacher's drinking a cup of tea. Shall I color the cup that he's holding? Yes. Color it orange, please. Okay. I'm doing that now. Two. The children who are sitting down are wearing scarves. Can you see the longer scarf? Yes. Shall I color it? Okay. Color it blue, please. That's a nice color. Three. There aren't many leaves on the tree. No. That girl is trying to catch one. Oh, yes. Shall I color that leaf yellow? That's a good idea. Four. Now, I'd like you to write something. Okay, then. Write the word stone above the door of the small house. That's easy. I can spell stone. Brilliant. Five. That boy's playing with the ball. Yes. He's kicking it now. What color shall I do the ball? Hmm, color it brown. Okay. Good. This picture looks better now. That is the end of the Movers Listening Test.